Hello. Right. So we've been on lockdown now for over two and a half months and um, we've become YouTube fans, massive YouTube fans, and we're watching loads of random things. And one of the things that has caught my wife's eye is cleaning videos, YouTube cleaning videos. Yeah, that's a thing. If you didn't know, it's a thing. Uh, so we decided that we'd do one of our own because it's Monday, it's my cleaning day. I had a really nice relaxing weekend, but after a weekend of us all lounging around to do nothing. The house is an absolute pigsty. So we normally do it on a Friday, but we've had two extra days of just building up of dirt and grease and grime. So we're gonna actually film me, myself, going from top to bottom and scrubbing the house clean and uh, you know getting it right. And I think they call it motivational cleaning. I heard of motivational speakers. I'm really into that sort of stuff, you know, like uh, Tony Robbins, Les Brown, uh, Prince EA, some absolutely amazing people, but a motivational cleaner, what does that actually entail? Do I need to sort of like give pep talks throughout the video? Come on, I know that you've uh, been struggling, I know that your house is a mess, but you just got to believe in yourself, brother, believe that you can clean. Is that what I need to do? Because, um, I'm kind of down for it if it's the case. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, look, I'm going to go because I've got a low to do. Like I said, there's four of us living in this house. It is an absolute pigsty, and I'm going to scrub it from top to bottom. I love a clean house. I really do. So this challenge that my wife has set me is right up my street. Look at me, man. I'm the black Cinderella. Watch me. All right, let's go. So I do have my work cut out today. It's going to be a big, big... Um, big effort but nothing that i can't handle uh, let's have a quick look and see what's going on so this is the playroom the kids playroom which is also doubling up as a bit of a storage space at the moment because we've got a few bits and pieces that we've not been able to throw away so this is all their play clothes and stuff actually i'm, I'm surprised it's actually quite tidy normally there are toys everywhere so these are all their sorts of things but um i actually had a big tidy of it a few weeks ago well a few days ago so it's a little bit tiring. Here, a bit more grubby, a bit more messy. Look at that, the carpet. Definitely needs some work done on the carpet. But yeah, so slightly grubby, slightly messy. This is gonna be the problem. This is the problem right here. So a whole lazy weekend, we did a food shop and I've not really put all the uh, food and bits away. Receipts and stuff that always, this is my wife's favorite place to leave things here. I'm always like, no, we don't leave stuff there, but it's her favorite place. But look, I've got recycling to do, needs to be tidied up. Food bin, absolutely overflowing and the rubbish, plus washing that I've not put away. So yes, lovely grimy sides. Yes, messy, messy, very messy. All of this to do, look at that nice, uh, like, hard water marks building up there so yes I'll need to attack this very soon and then <laughs> this is my favorite place this was my studio stroke man cave it's now the uh, teacher room so again lots of marks and mess on the floor lots of shopping that I've still to put away all the kids stuff yes and nice and messy <clears throat> so yes that's downstairs, and I've got my lovely wife in the garden sunning herself while I'm about to do the challenge. How are you? You good? <laughs> nice. Okay. And then, let's see. The boys are being very quiet, so I'm sure they're probably somewhere making more mess. Let's have a look. Up the stairs. Nice, and here we go. One room here, more laundry to put away. Things are dumped on the floor. Yes, like I said, it's been a very, very messy few days. And here we have the terrible two, their bedroom. Hello, sir, how are you? I'm good. Are you well? Uh -huh. 
lovely. So I need a good hoovering through and here. A good hoovering through here. Beds, sheets need to be done. Beds were not made. Why were your beds not made this morning, kiddo? It's because we're relaxing. You're relaxing. And guess what? You're relaxing. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't think it's time for relaxing. I think maybe you and your brother need to make your beds. Thank you. Speaking of brothers, where is that little reprobate spare room? We don't really have any guests as it's a uh, lockdown, so it's pretty much a uh, standard state. And in here, the bathroom, <clears throat> more trouble. Okay, so again, oh, terrible, that's me. All hair and stuff there from shaving, watermarks on the shelf there, absolute mess. If you look at the mirror, you see all these marks and stuff where uh, the boys, I've, um, this is my fault really, I told the boys to get up on the mirror and brush their teeth here. So, I saw toothpaste marks need to be cleaned. More water marks on the shower head, hard water. So we need a good, good clean here. Toilet. When you've got three boys living in a house, the, uh, the toilet always takes a bit of a, you know, it gets splashed and sprayed, shall we say. All right, so this is what it's all about. I'm about to get on it and get cleaned up. Okay, so my key cleaning ingredients, my go-tos when I really need to get the job done. Boom. You cannot mess with these products right here. Dettol, surface cleaner. 99.9% .9 of everything. Boom. Stainless steel cleaner. We love that. That brings it right back. Window lean. Shell. Ping! That is the one, man. All the glass, all the windows, absolutely fantastic. And the SIF bathroom spray. Absolutely banging. Nice, fizzy, bubbly, and it really gets the cuts through the grease and the dirt. It's amazing. But the secret and the top secret are these bad boys. If you don't know about the microfibers, where the hell have you been? These are the thing. Man, if you're not messing with these, then you can't mess with me. This is the ultimate in cleaning. No residue, no smidges, no marks, no smudging. It is the bang. Mwah! And you can wash them so you can keep on using them over and over again, which is good for the environment, right? Rather than using the single use ones I see some people using. No. All right. Cool. Enough of the chit chat, let's get to it. Okay, so we are looking a bit better here. You can see nice, sparkly clean taps. That's what we're talking about. Lovely clean porcelain. Amazing. Walls are nice and shiny. Yes, we like that. Hair's gone. 
glass clean, look at that. Nice clear glass, yes. And a nice shiny mirror. Ka-ching! Looking much better. And if you can see here, all the hard water gone. Walls, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the watery hard marks have gone. Taps here, nice and shiny. Um, had the toilet seat off and given that a good scrub. All bleached, beautifully done. 99.9% and now probably my least favorite part of the thing although it's strangely rewarding when you actually do this it's the uh oh yes right look at the absolute state of that now this I've sprayed it so it's not actually all uh, what you might think it is <clears throat> it's had a good spray but technically when you've got a seven-year-old boy, a four-year-old, nearly five-year-old boy, a daddy, or a Cinderella, um, we, uh, we don't always hit the target. So, yeah, as you can imagine, this is a job for the gloves. You need to get this nice and shiny again. You can see like little bits of dust and stuff on the top of the bowl where, you know, the towels are in here and whatnot. So, yes, here we go. Ready for action. I'm ready to get involved and get my hands dirty or my marigolds dirty and let's rock and roll. Okay, I've actually got a bit of a sweat on after that one. That was uh, quite intense, but bum 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 bum. That is more like it. Boom, sorry for anyone who has those uh, toilet phobias. Nice, chemically cleaned, nice and clean. Oh, look at that. Yes, no trace of lads being here anywhere. Okay, boom, Chicago. And for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> these things here, they're basically gels that you stick on the toilet and uh, it just cleans every time that you wash. So big fans of those, big fans. Oh, what I need to do is get rid of these dirty rags and give the floor a going over. And this room is done. Yeah, boy. Whew. I wonder if the wife has made any lunch yet for Cinderella. I'm quite hungry. The aftermath, all the dirt and rubbish, rubbish that's come out. We actually have ourselves a nice, clean bathroom. And we are ready to rock and roll. Look at that. Back to normal. Feeling very good, feeling very good. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We are clean. Great rock and roll. <clears throat> now gang, are you feeling motivated? This is a motivational cleaning session. Remember that, we're meant to be pumped up and woo! Um, I myself am feeling great. One thing about the motivational cleaning, uh, you need to be strong of mind as well, because I guarantee you this. Just finished cleaning, have my hand down the toilet for like 20 minutes, and once you've done that, you're gonna feel really proud of your work. But if you've got a family, especially a young family, I promise you this, one of the kids is gonna come upstairs and tell you that they need to use the toilet. And it'll be enough. So you can't let that get to you. You've got to stay in a positive mindset and you know, still winning, all right? So we're gonna do this. 
on to the next room. So the bathroom's done. That accounts for about 3% of the whole house. So I've still got a long way to go, but I'm motivated. Woo! All right, let's go. See you on the flip side. After the bathroom, I'm a bit tired. So I'm going to move into this small, uh, the spare room basically, because no one's used it for ages. We don't have guests over because uh, COVID-19 has stopped that. So this is a nice easy one basically. I'll literally have to do a bit of dusting, hoover the floor, and that is it. Uh, the bedding's actually not been used, so I don't need to change or clean that either. So result, fully motivated, ka -ching! Come on, stay with me, we've got this. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. That was what, about 10 seconds? I cleaned this whole room? 10 seconds, mate. Motivated. Motivated. Now, I know you need to see a bit more from me in order for you to sort of hit the levels where I'm at, right? Don't worry, I'm all over it. We're going to move on to the kids' bedroom now. Now, that's going to be a bit more challenging. Actually, not for me. Positive, motivational cleaning. Here we go. Have a quick butchers. Not really much has changed. Apart from I just need to remake the bed again because I've sat on it. But there we go. Glass is clean. I told you there's microfiber cloths are the one. Polished, dusted. No dust. Glass cleaned, shelves. Doors, all the bits of dust normally gather around here. So you know, just have a little bit of dust around there. Looking good, man. Easy peasy. Next. Right, totally winning, winning. This is another easy one here. Boom, in and out, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so look, glass all nice and clean and polished, all the books. I found so many toys and books under my kids' pillows. Do you, tell me, is it a parent thing? I don't remember having that many toys under my pillows, but they've all got books under there. So they're all back where they should be now. We've got a box here of books that uh, needs to go back on the wall when I re-put the shelves up whenever that will be <laughs> um and yes yeah, so we're all tidy you'll notice that i've not hoovered any of the rooms yet but there's a reason for that i do the tidy up the cleaning first and i hoover the whole of the floor in one time you know rather than doing it room by room and if you're wondering what these random blankets are that we have on the bed just so you know in england at the moment it is so warm it's lovely it's too warm for duvet so we give the boys these like sheets top sheets so that they don't overcook and overheat <laughs> Still feeling motivated, still feeling pumped, ready for the next room. The next room is by far the most difficult, the most challenging one of all. So I'm gonna be really positive on this one. And that room is, follow me this way. Mummy and daddy's bedroom. Oh my gosh. It looks like an absolute, it's like a bomb site. Look at that. Disgraceful. How did we let it get like this? We're meant to be leading, you know, setting a good example for the kids. The kids put us to shame. 
All right, so it's gonna take me a few minutes. I'm gonna gear up for it. Boom, once this is done though, that's the top floor done. So you need to hoover it all through. Everything is good, so let's get cracking. Right, okay. So, mummy and daddy's bedroom is tidy now. Tidy, what? nice and clean and tidy. It's very nice and tidy. So, what? it took a long time, a bit longer than expected, but we uh only got one more thing to do left. <laughs> We've got one more thing left to do. It took a bit longer than I was hoping for, but we were, like I said, an absolute mess. Um, shelves, there we go. Back to some sort of normality. Um, we have lots of stuff that we need to pack up because we're sending a lot of stuff away. That's why it's all flat there and not on display. But we're getting there. And 
bed is made nice clean bedding nice and fresh windows are clean obviously the outside isn't clean because there's not a window cleaner in the land that's coming out cleaning windows at the moment if you know somebody please give me a shout i could very much use them and yeah but feeling good nice clean bedroom all that we need to do now is obviously take all the rubbish downstairs but we need to hoover the whole of the upstairs area now i can't take all the credit for this because i had a wonderful wonderful little helper who goes by the name of Sonny Reese Danqua, and I believe that he is here somewhere. Is there a young master Sonny in the house? <laughs> there he is, the king of the bouncing on the bed. There we go, nice fresh bed for you to bounce on. Look at that. If daddy was getting tired of losing motivation, this young man sure helped me out, didn't you? Yeah. Well, thank you for your help, mate. It's okay. Feeling good? Yeah. All right, should we get rid of now let's get rid of the rubbish and this stuff. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the boss has spoken. Rubbish to be getting rid of. Let's go. Yeah, me and Daddy's going to get rid of the, the rubbish together. Yeah. This bag smells good. The rubbish smells good, did no, you just say? This bag. The bag smells good. Is They're scented bags. Ah. Right, so Sunny, we've got there. all the rubbish. Yeah, I'm smelling the rub. I'm smelling the <laughs> Okay, so we've got a few bits to take downstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, it does smell good, doesn't it? Nice. Okay, I so let's you. let's get this downstairs. And please be careful here because we've got lots of uh, all the bedding and things that need to be washed. All the laundry that I found from all the rooms. Yeah, I'll help you with these laundry. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then why don't you take the bag downstairs for me? And yeah. mind just step, please. Hold on to the rail. Thank you, King. Good boy. Leave it by the front door and I'll put it straight into the bin. Thank you. Me and you will put it straight in the bin. Sounds like a plan. It's about to go down. We're here. The final part of the upstairs will be the hoovering. Now, <clears throat> in the red corner, we have weighing in, uh, God knows what, Henry the Hoover, the veteran of the game, kicking butt and hoovering up since gosh knows when. And over in the blue corner, the rookie sensation, the cordless, the mighty, the powerful beyond, the Dyson. Okay, so why have I got two Hoovers? Well, because one just doesn't do the job. You need a bit of both, okay? Dyson, I love you. You're nice. You get around nice and quick. It's a real, real pleasure to use you. You're light. I don't have to carry you. But Henry, you're a workhorse, man. You're a Trojan. You're my guy. So the bulk of the Hoover in is definitely with Henry. But you, my main man, Dyson, for the stairs, the little nuts and crannies, you're amazing. So, this is where I'm at. I'm nearly done upstairs, can you believe? I feel like I've been cleaning all day. Um, it, it's a nice day outside as well. So I've stayed motivational, I've stayed motivated, I've stayed focused, and I'm feeling good. The house is looking good. I'm feeling good. Still got to go downstairs though, so that's the next thing. So let's not get too excited. All right, hoovering, here we go. That's what I like to see. Nice hoovered carpets. Beautifully. Look at that. I don't mean to brag, but we did it with positivity. Me and you, man. Me and you. We did it. <laughs> Upstairs is done. Okay. So, 50% complete. Now, let's tackle downstairs. Downstairs we go. Should we have a bit of food first? Hmm. Food. Okay, so I'm moving downstairs now. Um, obviously, 
everyone's been eating and stuff like that so it's got progressively worse as the day's gone on so the challenge is going to be a little bit tougher a little bit more going on but you know what i'm still up for it um let's have a quick butchers so i've just moved my wife's office that was here upstairs so that i've got a bit more you know of a clear run at the house um, but as you can see oh my gosh i feel embarrassed to show you this Honestly, my home is not normally this disgusting. I take pride in the fact that at the moment while I'm furloughed from work, I am the house husband. It is my duty to keep this house clean and tidy. I've taken two days off and oh my goodness. Right, so laundry, stuff from the bathroom that needs to be cleaned, bath mats, all the cleaning stuff there. Recycling is still here, needs to go out. The food bin where the kids have been eating all their fruits and snacks and stuff is even more stuff in it now bin this is bad oh my goodness look at that that is absolutely carnage carnage i feel like i've let myself down i feel like i've let the family down and i feel like i've let you guys down and just to uh you know, just to really compound the uh, <laughs> the challenge, um, my four-year-old, well, nearly five, he'll be five next month, decided he wanted to do arts and crafts. So my wife gave him some of the contents of the recycle bin. And he's such a talented kid. This is what he came up with. As you can see here, we have a selection of cardboard food boxes and paper and some whiteboard marker pens that have just been cut up from what I can gather. This is modern art. This right here is modern art. I've, I'm sure I saw something very similar by Tracy Emin, you know, who did something really... Obviously he's a talent, you know, young genius prodigy I'd say. So there we go, that is his work of art that he's left there for us all to marvel in such a talented family <laughs> and as I've taken uh, my wife's desk upstairs I've actually removed the kids desk that we had down here for homeschooling so now I've got this to deal with as well so as you can see my sh my once lovely studio which I used to record my 365 videos has actually just become a nice little dumping ground of well, no not a dumping ground a breeding ground of creativity and uh, Organized chaos, shall we say? <laughs> right, so I'm gonna be a busy boy. <laughs> but you know, watch this space. I'm gonna do a before and after shot as well, I think. I definitely need to do a before and after shot. You watch, it's gonna be amazing, you're gonna love it. All right, so we're still motivated for this cleaning, we're still positive, we're still really gonna go for it. I'm fired up, let's go. Bye.
toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And who Okay, stage one of downstairs, the kitchen complete. Voila! Look at this. Shiny, shiny. Oh, yeah. Voila. Okay, so, boom. That was an effort, but we did it. I, uh, I feel motivated again now. That's the word that I do feel motivated. I feel like I can now achieve anything. I think the kitchen's always the hardest one to do because there's just so much involved, including sort of doing laundry at the same time, plus kids asking for things and doing bits and pieces, but we are getting there. So now I need to move on to the, uh, well, it used to be a studio, it used to be a dining room. We don't know what it is now. It's just a mishmash of stuff. I want to move on to there. And uh, as always, I'll do the mopping and the hoovering and the floors at the very end. You know how I roll now. Okay, off we go, but first of all, it is snack time for the kids, so I must do snacks. Shh. I had to sneak out for a little bit of sunshine, otherwise it's a wasted day. <laughs> Shh, kids are busy, the wife is upstairs, no one has to know. It's between me and you. <sighs> Oh man, this is a nightmare. This is <laughs> right. Time to get my teeth into this bad boy and restore it back to its former glory. See if I can claim it back as a man cave stroke music room stroke studio. Doubt it's going to happen, but you know, always be optimistic and hopeful. I don't even know where to start, really. I guess from the beginning. <laughs> All right. Okay, watch me work my magic. Here we go, I'm in.
Okay, I'm quickly going to interrupt this uh, cleaning just to um, remind you of something. Do you remember what I said to you about staying motivated? You know, we've got kids. Okay, so as if the job wasn't big enough, my two have decided to make pillow houses. Me, okay? Wow, look at that, absolutely wonderful. You know I'm trying to tidy up right kids? Yeah but, we, but we're building a pillow house. What are you building? A pillow house. A pillow house? What's a pillow house? Uh, a it's house. a house made out of pillow. Yeah. And I'm trying to make it but some of you just coming in and then after that just trash it up. Right. I'm quite sure it's called a fort and you need to think outside the box but I'm really glad you're doing this because it just inspires me to stay motivated and keep cleaning. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I told you, I told you. But stay motivated, stay positive. Unless you've got kids, then you need like, then you need some divine intervention. <laughs> no fear. Come on, we're on a mission. We're doing this. Let's win. Let's win. Okay, another load in the tumble dryer. One's just gone upstairs. Now time to prep another load for the washing machine. It's game time. And also multitasking, cooking some bits in the oven as well. That's how we do clean up time. Oh yeah, feeling good, looking good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all that remains is the front room now. I am smashing it. Obviously I've got some up the floor. Look, this is still these unsightly marks here on the floor that needs to be uh, disposed of. But we are there, we are there, we are winning. One more room to go. I can, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And then I might even get a little while to sneak out, spend a bit more time in this beautiful weather. Oh my goodness, look at that. <sighs> yes. Anyway, back to work, let's go.
winning. We are winning. So as you can see now, front room is tidy. Yes, yes, yes. Hoovered, cleaned up. Apart from this is a washing that I need to fold up. This just come out of the tumble dryer. But we are tidy. I need to mop the floors and then we are all good. Um, and in the meantime, these two rag and muffins are up to something. So you remember that lovely tidy upstairs area? Go upstairs. Go the toilet. <laughs> close the door. Okay, I just close it. <laughs> kids. So you remember that lovely tidy uh, kids bedroom that I did earlier on? And uh, I told you, you know, you stay motivated because when you've got kids, quite often it goes wrong. Let's have a look. Wowzers. Daddy? Yes. Yeah, Password. Okay, I've just been told by uh, somebody on the throne, obviously it must be the king, that I'm not allowed to go in there. So I have we to have wait to, to, to show to, you the exact have, sort of mess that it's in. You have to do the passcode. Sorry? You have to do the passcode. Okay. Look, it says, it, it wants you to do the Hands? Right. Can you? Done your hands? Okay. So can I um have a look at this? Do the password. We haven't decided what the password. I don't know what the password is. What I'm very um Fortnite. Uh, you're close, but you just missed one thing. Fortnite player. Fortnite event. Yeah. Is it Fortnite event? That was easy. All right, so let's have a look. So this is a... Uh... We have our bears up and this is another doorway. And this is, and this is another... And this is in another oh, room. Oh my goodness. This is another room. So this... Right, so you really... You did, guys, you do know that I tidied this up for you like so, a few hours this ago. this is the playroom. And that's your playroom. Yeah. You know you've got a playroom downstairs. This is our other playroom. Well, like... <laughs> if you... And guess what? We are going to sleep up here for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you've got schoolwork here. I guess that's one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And I've also got my schoolwork up here, and this is where I'm going to do my schoolwork. Is this even a colour in oh, Wow. Just so I can do. Uh, this okay, is another so, activity book, so. Lovely, clean, and tidy uh, bedroom. Let me... Less than, what, two hours? Two hours? Maybe three um, hours? And uh, this oh, no. is the. We're late. That's the remains. That's that's what it's turned into. We're late. We're late. Look, look. We're late. <laughs> What's well, to cause more mischief? We're late. Scrab. <sighs> Motivational cleaning. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a job well done. We have finished! Yes! One nice clean house from top to bottom, head to toe, scrubs and clean, and I feel absolutely fantastic about it. I love a tidy house, I love a clean house. I really enjoyed my uh, two days of retinalization, but 
the aftermath, my goodness, as you saw. So look, give a quick tour now. Boom. The studio is back to uh, being beautifully tidy and clean. No clutter. Everything put away nicely. Guitar bits, podcasting bits, laptop, everything's there, nice. The boys school books and stuff are here. Lovely jubbly. A nice clean kitchen with mopped floors. Oh sorry, let me show you all the marks off the floor. If you remember all those marks on there, they're all gone. A nice pine smell. I'll just turn the tumble dryer for a minute so that you can hear me talking. Floors all mopped. Yes, obviously we've eaten so there's more dishes and stuff. So my perfectly clean uh, sink is now going to be slightly marked. But yes, clean and clear. Some more recycling that I need to get rid of. Stuff to go in the wash, but the bins are all emptied. Oh my gosh, it's clean. Lovely. The living room, hoovered, mopped, dusted. Yes. Clear space. It smells lovely and minty fresh. The boys playroom nice and tidy floors mopped well nice and tidy as in as tidy as it can be while Marilyn my wife is working from home and all the printers and bits and pieces are here but yes all her work there <clears throat> so clean not really tidy but organized chaos Stay 